Okay, before we start, why am I out of breath? I'm 24. Before we start this video, I wanna say that I'm not proud of my GPA by any means, but the reason why I got like a 2.7 something, the reason why I got a 2.7 something, I think so is a 7.6, or did I get a 2.8? I don't know. We'll find out in a few minutes. But the reason why my GPA was under 3.0 is because I fell behind and then I had to play catch up and I wanted to graduate on time because one thing you'll learn is that when you have internship experience, companies care less about your GPA because your internships show that you can code and you built actual like applications that apply to real life and that outweighs GPA. And I also want to say that I would much rather have a 2.7 something in computer science and a 4.0 in business. Oh, and um, Jarvis made a video like this about a year ago. And since YouTube still thinks me and Jarvis have related channels, I figured I'd make a video like this too. It'll just be a little bit longer. I wonder why they think our channels are related. You know that old saying, C's get degrees? Well, let me tell you, still holds true still holds true so i just gotta log in to my account okay so we're gonna start with fall semester 2014 2015. i went to a liberal arts school so bear with me took public speaking got an a minus nothing to talk about there i took computer programming in java that was a cool course <sighs> funniest professor in the whole school taught this class and you know the funny thing about programming is when you first start everything is just makes no sense and the hardest question i ever got on a test for this course was to write a hello world a thousand times You know, the funny thing about college is that some professors will make lab harder than the actual exam. So you end up being stressed out every single week just to get a test that you could have probably passed if you never showed up. That actually was a good course. He actually had us build like a user interface. So that was my first exposure to UI, but I didn't know it was UI. He just called it a GUI. So I don't know if people still say that, but it was a GUI. Anyways, then I took um, English 1510, Writing and Rhetoric 1, got an A, nothing to talk about. Oh, the computer programming in Java, I got a B. You're gonna see this pattern that I got way better grades outside of the engineering college. So, all right, I took college algebra. I actually never went to college algebra class. Like I never attended class. And the reason being is because I was taking that and Java at the same time. And college algebra was a flipped classroom. So you basically, you did the lecture at home on the computer and then in class you would do your homework. They would go over like, the professor would go over like the topic and then we would do homework. So there was no need for me to go to that class. And it was college algebra. I took PED 1004, jogging, got an A minus. That class you learn about your major. So you will have like a learning community leader who is like an undergraduate student that can help you um, with really anything that you need school wise in terms of like, hey, what classes should I take? How's the college life and all that good stuff. And then you had like someone who was like a professor. We had like a PhD like student teach that class, but basically you just learn about your major. So I learned about computer science. I learned about like job opportunities. And also I learned about different organizations I could join. So that was a good course. I had a really high GPA that semester. I think I finished with like a, let's see here, 3.5A5. Okay, moving on to the next semester. It's gonna get a lot more fun, I promise. Just bear with me. Grades, spring semester 2014-2015. All right, I took PLTL for Chem 1510. And that basically was like an extra like study session for Chemistry 1510 because, okay, 
Engineering likes to weed out people, especially people who don't want to work hard or people who just don't have a chance in passing. So you're going to find out real quick. And chemistry 1510 has a very high failure rate. As a matter of fact, in this class, I remember the professor saying, if you fail this, if you fail this first test, you have like a 15% chance of passing. Luckily, I got a C. So chemistry 1510 PLTL, there's no grade, it's called CR. I did all that work, did the PLTL and all that good stuff, and I end up with a C. And then intro to computer science one, WP, um, withdraw passing. And yeah, not good, but I withdrew from this class because I thought I wasn't gonna pass and I also was on scholarship when I was in undergrad and I needed a 2.75 to keep my GPA and I did not want to risk bringing that GPA down so early in my curriculum. So I decided to withdraw and the reason why I was able to do that is because I had AP credit from high school that gave me enough credit hours, well, basically one credit hour short of the credit hours I needed for my scholarship, which was 15 a semester, which is 30 for the year. So I took coastal kayak. That was the one credit hour that I needed to keep my scholarship. And um, that is Rec 1142, interesting course. Um, it was kind of interesting being around a lot of outdoor majors. Life seemed a lot less stressful for them. And I took pre-calc, math 1300. Um, Got a B plus, I mean, it was pre-calculus. It was much harder than high school. Trust me, way harder, especially because I took all my math and engineering college. So it was just harder in general. Um, and then I took, check this out, EDEC 1600, intro to child, I think it's intro, it's called intro to child development. I got an A minus in that. Everything was open book. And then, yeah, that's pretty much um, spring semester 2014, 2015. And I finished with, a uh, 3.027. This is the other thing that sucks about college. If you get a bad grade in a class that has a lot of credit hours, it's gonna really mess up your GPA. Even if that course means absolutely nothing compared to the other courses, you're gonna see a situation like that um, soon in a few minutes where I got like a C minus in a class that no employer cares about, but I got good grades in all the classes that get you the high paying jobs. So just to give you an example, you're probably wondering like, how is my GPA only at 3.027 when I got a C, an A minus, and a B plus, and an A. Now I just talked about how the credit hours play a huge role in your GPA. So that C I got, Fundamentals of Chemistry 1, something that I use Every day as a software developer, I got a C and it was four credit hours. So that destroyed my GPA because everything else was either three credit hours, there was another four credit hours, but C and a B plus ends up becoming like a B, which is a 3.0 or maybe even a C plus when you combine the two, I don't know off the top of my head, but I got an A in coastal kayaking was only one credit hour. so. Thanks, Coastal Kayaking. All right, moving on to sophomore year, right? One year underneath my belt. I'm good, right? I feel confident. I'm gonna get really good grades this semester. Actually, this semester wasn't that bad. Okay, so I took Art 1100, remember? A liberal arts school. Seeing and knowing visual art. Three credit hours, I got a B plus. Um, that class was actually harder um, than I thought it would be, especially if you only go to class 50% of the time. I got a B in Intro to Computer Science 1, so that class that I withdrew the previous semester, I took again with a different professor who was like my favorite, one of my favorite professors ever, and I ended up getting a B. I'm actually glad I retook that course because let me tell you, the next computer science course, I got an even better grade in. For some reason, Intro to Computer Science is so difficult. And I don't know why, but it actually ended up being like not even my highest computer science course grade. In harder courses, I got better grades. Um, then I took Math 2301, which was calculus, also with a failure rate of like 54%. And I got a B minus. Um, shout out to Blake, he's a big homie. And I took Foundations of Plant Bio. So I took Plant Bio 1140, um, and I got a B. I think Plant Bio was weird. You like could take the second one first, 
but the first one is harder. We'll see. Once I look at what my grades were, um, I think junior year, I'll see like what that plan bio is called. But this is plan bio 1140. And I think the other one was 1130. But that class was cool. I actually enjoyed plant biology. So let's see. Um, for that semester, my GPA was a 2.978. I'm pretty sure I'm reading that right. Yes. 15 credit hours. Total points, 44.67. And I didn't get one C and I had a 2.978. Well, my QM was a 3.217, which was still good. Let me tell you, there's a hack. This is what you do. You don't have any internship experience and you're starting college. What you do, of course, there are pros and cons to this. Okay, I can't promise it'll work for you, um, but it could. Spring semester 2015, 2016. Wow, that seems so long ago. Back in my day. I took intro to computer science two. And I got a B. Okay, I lied. I thought I got a B plus in this course. But just think about it. I got a B in Intro to Computer Science 2. And I got a B in Intro to Computer Science 1. Even though I took Intro to Computer Science 1 twice. I took it twice. Okay, I took... Oh, this was a great course. CS 2650. Professional and Ethical... Professional and Ethical Computing. And it was two credit hours and I got an A minus. Shout out Dolan, that course was fun, a lot of debates, it got real spicy, thanks to Jordan Oseman. And then CS3000, Intro to Discrete Structures, um, that class was, oh, okay, that class was tough. Um, I wasn't doing really well in the beginning. I wanna say I got like a 52% on my first test. <laughs> that also was a pattern. Um, I would always like do really bad in the first test and then have to like nearly do perfect for the rest of the exams and um, just to get a B minus or a B, that happened a lot. And I used to be like, God, why can't I just get a C on a test and then I could coast? I always would get like a D or an F. So um, I got a B minus in that course, four credit hours. So multiply 2.67, I think 2.6, no, 2.68 divided by four. Okay, I was right. All right, so a B minus is a 2.67. So you know that brought my GPA down. And then the next course I took Calculus 2. Whew, that class was so difficult. You know how you take a new course and it's usually pretty, pretty smooth the first couple weeks? You know, you can relax and you can chill and you could joke around with your friends and lecture. Not this course. You start on like chapter six and it was really difficult. No breaks in this course until really the end, I think when we got to vectors, that stuff was easy, but the beginning 98% of the course actually was really difficult. Management 2000, Introduction to Management, um, 3.0, uh, three, three credit hours, and I got an A minus. That class was cool. I learned about management. Wait a second, that was a business class and I didn't get an A? I got a B, an A minus, a two B minuses, and an A minus, and that was a 3.4, 3.041. So my GPA is continuing to fall, and now I have a 3.167. But guess what? I have a 3.167 going into junior year of college. As a matter of fact, when I'm applying to internships in the fall of junior year, I still have a 3.167. I remember a company um, turned me down. They turned down um, giving me an interview because I didn't have a 3.2, and then they hit me up um, in the spring, like, hey, um, do you think you could bring it up to a 3.2? Or if you have a 3.15 or higher, we round it up. They didn't tell me that when well, my GPA was a 3.167 um, cause it fell fall semester of junior year. But I was like, if you don't want me because I have a 3.167 and a 3.2, I really don't wanna work for you. Moving on to junior year, this is when it gets really spicy. So, 2016, 2017, I took four classes. And the first class, CS3560. This was a great course, Software Engineering Tools and Practice. This was that course with a professor who worked at Microsoft. It was really fun. I learned a ton in that course about software tools and I was able to apply for like over 100 internships during that class period. Next was CS3610, Data Structures, four credit hours. What you guys think I got? A D, a C? C minus, a C plus, ha, I got a B plus. Don't know how, um, actually I do, it's because of the curve and because 
I'm way better at understanding the mathematical side of computer science than programming. I just understand like data structures and time complexity more, um, which I guess kind of makes sense. I got into this major because I thought I was solid at math. I'm actually not that good. Am I good at anything? I got a B plus and um, shout out to my advisor who taught this course. Um, it was cool. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And then I took EE 1024. Ooh! This class made me so mad. I taught by one of my favorite professors, so I forgive him for giving me this grade. But I got a C minus an intro to computer engineering. Guys, this class was four credit hours. So yeah. There goes my GPA. I got an A minus in a three credit hour class, a B plus in a four credit hour class, and then a C minus in a four credit hour class. And then I took plant bio 1150, so I lied. The first one was 1140. I got a B, that class was really hard. Another example of like failing the first test and nearly getting a perfect and everything. Guys, I got a per, I got almost a perfect, I got the highest score in our practicum, which is basically a lab test where you're looking under a microscope, you're identifying things. I got the highest grade out of everybody, even the plant bio major. Why I couldn't just get a C on that first test and coast the rest of the semester, no idea. But anyways, intro to computer engineering killed my GPA. You think anyone is asking me about intro to computer, computer engineering in my interviews? You think anyone cares? Sorry for moving this. You think anyone cares if I know how to do a Carnot map? You think anyone cares? No, they don't care. But I got a C minus and it was four credit hours. So it killed my GPA, 2.867. So looking back at my grades, they weren't as bad as I thought. Um, maybe I am a pretty smart whipper. 2.867, so my GPA you know, fell again, 3.107. That's messed up, you know. That's crazy because that's the thing about college that I can't stand. GPAs don't matter because look at this. I got an A minus in software engineering tools and practice. You know what I use now? You know what I use as a full-time software developer? I use Git. You know what full-time software engineers use? They use Git. You know where I learned Git first? My internship. If you want a job at a fang company or you know a high paying software engineering job you got to know data structures and i got a b plus this is crazy i'm done with the rant i'm going to move on to um spring semester so i'm going to change the term <laughs> you know in honor of uh you know that uh, magical performance by lebron and Kyrie. <laughs> you know yes sir okay so spring semester 2016 2017 all right i took organization programming languages i got a d plus and that class was really hard the reason being is because what i did bad on like a um like my first project <laughs> what's new here brought my grade down really bad but um this class was great i actually built a um a compiler in this course and uh, i actually did well on that project that was really cool so we or no i built my own programming language that's what i built i took cs 4000 so that was parallel and web computing i think distributed parallel and web computing so that was three credit hours i got to see that class was crazy we were all stressed out that semester i took computer organization that's ee 3613 i never got yelled at more in college in my life than in that course. I managed to get a B minus EE 3954, which is microprocessors and microcontrollers. That class was super cool, amazing professor, super funny, B minus in that. Um, I took English 3030, so that's English for juniors. And um, remember, liberal arts school, um, well-rounded curriculum. <laughs> uh, writing the professions, uh, I got a, uh, an A in that class, so it's three credit hours, so yeah. Um, so let's change term to senior year. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I got to tell you what my GPA was that semester. That was a tough semester for me. Um, so I got a 2.542 and I'm staying just above water. 3.008 QM GPA going into senior year. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Semester 2017-2018. Undergrad. Okay. So CS4040 design and analysis algorithms. Um, 
Oh, alg algorithms. Um, I got a D. Data mining and applied in life sciences. So that course was, um, that was really hard. But I was exposed to Python, machine learning, random for, random, was it random force? Um, greedy algorithms, um, understanding how to like do genomic sequencing. So I got to be in that class. Software uh, design and development one. So that was senior design the first semester. I got an A minus. And that grade was based off of, I think, how I did on some quizzes and then how well my customer said I was doing. Um, artificial intelligence, CS4800, um, got a C plus. Marling was a tough grader, E3713. Probability and statistics, man, senioritis really, really got to me in that class. And I gotta see, but the professor was great. So that semester I got a 2.4, 15 credit hours. So my GPA cum dropped to 2.922. That broke my heart because man, I tell you, I haven't had under a 3.0 since middle school. Last semester, Pilers got a C. Um, remember C's get degrees. That was a really hard course. Um, bioinformatics tools. So that was like the soft skilled version of data mining. Data mining was a programming version basically of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics tools was like learning just about bioinformatics and how to use tools to um, come up with, I don't know, bioinformatics stuff. I got to be in that course. Um, uh, operating systems. That class, I want to say my professor. Our professor graded like one project. B minus in that course, really hard. Compilers, we had to do it in C. Whew. For development design, software design and development too. Um, I gotta be, have no idea why. That's basically, basically the second half of senior design. Then I took geology 1010, four credit hours, I gotta see. I took geology to fulfill that last uh, math science elective that you need if you get a computer science degree from a credit university. And then I took math 3200, apply linear algebra, three credit hours and I got a B. So that semester, my GPA was a 2.57 and I graduated with a 2.87. Hey, hey, and academic standing was good standing, 2.87. I thought I had like a 2.76. That's my computer science curriculum. I have no idea if this video was done in 20 minutes or if it's gonna be done in 10 minutes based on the editing. But um, yeah, if you like this at all, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your thoughts or some questions you have. Share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. And um, as always, I hope everyone has a blessed rest of your week. And I'm praying that you and your families are staying safe and healthy. I'll see you all soon. This was a really fun video. Peace.